Mr. Speaker, while I sympathize with the Nigeria situation as regards the population, like the last speaker said, they are traditional and customary activities. Mr. Speaker, how many of our girls are out of school? As a society, what have we done to give them that enlightenment? Some of these children are unwanted children. But are we going to start killing them? We will not, Mr. Speaker. For somebody who has just one wife, and you are able to produce four, am I going to reduce my children? For areas where you are opportune, or you are allowed to marry four wives, which woman is going to have one child and say that she's done? Mr. Speaker, I think what we should be looking at is how we can prepare tomorrow for our children. We can prepare tomorrow for our young men. Because most of these people, an idle man that says the devil workshop, when you have no work, Mr. Speaker, the girls go to where they want to go to, and they produce children. Even in America, you see young girls with four children, and you'll be surprised. So, Mr. Speaker, I don't think uh, um, we have to say, let's reduce our population. What we need to do is to prepare tomorrow for our children so that the population can be well engaged. China is using it. China is growing. Why can't Nigeria borrow same? I think we should take a cue from that, Mr. Speaker. I love my country. God bless Nigeria.